Hello, my name is Lenore Ryan, and I'm with Lights, Camera, Selfies. And I'm excited today to share this video with you because I've been seeing a lot of things online on different photo booth pages and different you know, marketing pages on how can I market my photo booth to corporate clients. And if you have a salsa like I do, which you can see right there, perfect, perfect photo booth to use for corporate clients. It can do so many things strictly for these corporate clients and they will love them. But remember, you have to show what you want to sell. So if you're one of these that wants to start getting into corporate sales, you need to reach out and you need to show people. Some of the ways I reach my corporate clients is I attend a lot of networking events through the chambers. I'm in two different chambers. I attend their networking events. I will admit, I will volunteer at the chamber functions to set up my photo booth so that people actually get a hands-on feeling. And I focus on something different each time. Sometimes I do my backdrops of my balloon design. Sometimes I show the surveys that you can do with salsa. Every single time though, I show the branding. The branding is so key on Salsa and that's what we really wanna focus on today. So that's what I want you to be able to show people. I want you to be able to focus on different things for people and show them that your photo booth actually becomes theirs. Not only theirs as in branding, but it looks like theirs. They write to clients that way. The guests and the customers that attend these functions actually are going to get an email with from them, which will also have all their information on there with all their details on how to reach them via phone, via internet, via website, however it is you want them to meet with you. It's perfect. It's such a great way, but branding, branding, branding is key. So let's look at some ways that I brand. And I use a couple of functions that I love through the salsa booth. I also have another booth, I'll be up front, and I can't brand it like salsa. So I bet I use for every 10 times I use my salsa booth, I use my other booth, which is now kind of my secondary. I don't even promote it anymore. I only use it when I book over or have too many clients on a particular day, then I pull that one out because I can't brand it. And I have to be very careful when I go out and sell that if I do have a second event that I'm going to use this other photo booth at, that I make sure they understand that it can't be as branded as much as the salsa booth. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you, but we're gonna go in and here it is. So we're gonna look, you can see just right here alone, I have Credit Union Day, that's a corporate client. The class of 71, that's sort of a corporate client because the lady here in the middle is one of my top corporate clients and she was, coordinating this class reunion. So I went ahead and did that for her. You can see I have a breast cancer awareness luncheon coming in. That's with a local hospital. And then I have the National Kidney Walk, which is they're paying me to be there and it is um, a corporate function. But let's go ahead and open up this corporate event and let's see what are different ways that we can actually brand this. So it's starting, I'm not gonna go step-by-step step on how to do this, but I am gonna show you some key things that I think are really important for branding and being able to sell to corporate clients. As I mentioned, corporate clients want to completely be able to brand this as their own. They want it to be their own function. They want it to be theirs. They don't want anybody to think, hey, I hired this small photo booth company to come in. So on the first thing you wanna do is you wanna work us on the start screen. And the start screen is key because anytime somebody first walks up to the booth, this is what they're gonna see. This is the function they're gonna see each time and it's gonna be on the screen majority of the time. So you wanna go into this and you wanna edit it. And you can see you have, if you've uploaded your own files, they're all gonna be here. And you so really, once you start focusing on corporate, these corporate marketing and HR directors will start sharing your name and you'll actually get to know more and more. So you can do one or two things. You can actually upload your own file and then install it. And as you can see, I custom make each one of my files 
for my corporate clients. Now, if I'm doing a wedding or different things like that, I will use the can thing. So now I want to talk to you on how do I actually make my files for this? Learn what it is that I need for actually starting to create this. So as you see over here, under tap and start screen, it says see file requirements. And your requirements are actually very key. And you can see each section is listed here. It couldn't be any easier. It goes step-by-step step of what you need to do. Have to start and your background are the same sizes. So that works out great. And then you also have your photo templates on different ones, your boomerangs and your, your overlays. But what we're gonna focus today on is actually doing the tap to start so that we can easily, easily sell this to a client and you can let them, you can give them the specs and let them create it completely themselves or you can create it for, and you can also use different things that are provided by Salsa and it, it shows you different things that are there. There's just all different things you can start with. But for me, because I want to be very personalized and I would not ever want my client to say, oh, I went to another event, they had a photo booth like yours and they were using the same artwork. So for me, I go in and I use Canva. And so Canva is a very important function for me. And it's something that is so easy. And yes, there is a monthly fee, but it is so worth it. So we're gonna pop over here. We're gonna pop over here and we're gonna go to my Canva. And you can see there's, I have tons of files of everything that I'm working on but I have a file and it's Sally Photo Booth. We actually named our photo booth. Like I said, we have more than one, but we call our salsa Sally. And so everybody on my team refers to her as that. We talk about it, different things. So as you can see, funny enough, the first couple that pop up are weddings that I'm doing. And I just do a running tally and I keep going all the way down making these. Here's a homecoming that we did. This is the class reunion that you just saw on there. And now we're getting ready to go to a conference that we're gonna be working at in Disney Springs. And we are going to be doing the photo booth for them. So what I wanna show you is the start screen. And as you can see, this is the start screen that we're doing for this conference coming up. And it is so easy to create a start screen. Once you have created the size, which we just saw the size, Remember, it's right here. It gives you the sizes. It tells you what your overlay and everything needs to be. You need to put this in. So just so that I can show you exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and create one from scratch so that you can see it working and you can see how it's going to work. Of course, now Canva is going to take a little bit of time, but you want to go over here to Canva and click on create a design. And then you want to pick your sizes. Unfortunately, Salsa Photo Booth backgrounds, not one of the choices. There are a million choices, but that's not one of them. So you're going to want to go ahead on here and click on custom size. And remember, we saw in our cheat sheet that we got from Salsa that it's 2048 pixels wide by 2732. So we're going to go back here, 2048 by 2372. And then here you can click and it gives you the different things, but Salsa gave it to us in pixels. So that's what I'm going with. And as you can see, it's already up here for me because I use this one often. So now you click on it and you have a completely clean blank white slate of what your background's going to look like. So depending on what you are, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this we're going to set it up from scratch so we're going to start remember this whole screen is going to be seen and the whole idea is to encourage people to tap to start you can play on words you can do different things so what we're first we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to look at our uploads and we, you can see obviously i've been working on this balloon one so it's all set up so we'll make a fun one this is for the Balloon Boss Summit, which we're going to next week. So we're just gonna put this on here. And this is her logo, so we really like that. And then, you know, just to make it simple, let's look up, you can look at this. You can go up here to elements and type in balloons. 
and all these different graphics will show up and you can see it will there's the one I just you just saw on my other page that I had used but there's all these different ones so this one we're going to go ahead and click on this one and we're going to put this right here making it simple we have our client's logo she's there she's predominant and now we're going to go over to the text and we're going to look at a text that we like and there's all different ones you can choose from however you want to look at however you'd like but this one we're going to try dazzle and as you can see it comes up for us we're going to go ahead up here and i'm going to move the balloons down and see it's just all you just click on it and move it is so so simple canva makes it easy for everyone and so now we're going to say pop because it's a balloon your favorite color balloon now i don't want this line down here so i'm going to go ahead and click and these are grouped together so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to ungroup so you click on this and see ungroup comes up now it's two separate things i'm actually going to take this and delete it i'm going to make this a little bit bigger and then we're going to focus on just making it look the way we want and there's so many things it's easy we can change the size on this one you can see whoever did this they really spaced out the letters and i think it's a little too much so i'm just going to tighten them up some get them back to their normal sizing so now it says pop your favorite color balloon you know what i don't think i need color so i'm just going to say pop your favorite balloon and i'm going to do an exclamation point and that's really it the screen now will be white with all of these and it doesn't matter where your customer touches they can touch any part of the screen and this will start but my client's logo is there it's predominant it's going to be on every single screen and i'm going to do one more thing just because my client her corporate colors are this blue green and yellow i'm going to go ahead and go back to my elements and i'm going to write rectangular and it's going to come up and it comes up with all these different squares and you can slide this in and you can highlight a certain area you can cover it you can highlight you can do whatever you want i don't know why this little line came up but it did so now that I've slid over the rectangle, I'm going to click right here. And now this is my background. I want to change the color because I definitely want to match her color of her logo, just a tiny bit more brandy. And as you can see, because I pulled in this piece of artwork of her logo, it now shows up on this side of the page and all her corporate colors are there. Everything that's in her logo is in there. So I'm going to try this blue color because I don't want the green to fade in. So let's see what it would look like with this. Okay, so there you go. Now you have the backdrop. It's there. So everything is all set and ready to go. And so now her cover page is completely branded and ready to go. And if you don't like it, say you don't like the light blue, you can change it to the green. You can change it to the yellow. You can change it to whatever color you want. If you don't want her one of her logo colors, they give you a whole bunch of colors. And if you click up here, you can actually go to this screen and just slide it over and lighten it. And it will show you what it looks like lit up lighter. So there's just so many things you can do with that. But for me, since this is a client and I have her logo colors, I think I'm gonna go with the yellow, use that. But I also now think now that I've gone with the yellow, I'm going to click on the font color and I'm going to make this the blue so it really stands out and now it's going to pop a little bit more so pop your favorite balloon and this is your starting screen, which is great. So now we have that we're ready to go, but now I would like to have the background, what do I want the background to be so i'm going to go ahead and click on the background i'm going to i'm sorry i'm going to click on this plus sign and all it's going to do is absolutely duplicate what i've already done which is very cool because i know i'm going to be using her logo again and i'm not going to use these balloons again because i just don't want to but i'm going to go back over to my elements here and i'm going to do balloon 
and see what else comes up. More things will come up. Um, lots of fun, different things. So for this one, because this is the screen, if you remember on your salsa, this will say photo, boomerang. I don't wanna do a lot of copy on here because it already has it. So I'm gonna take this off and I think I'm gonna do this top screen of all balloons and you can click on it and you see how big it is. Somebody made it huge. So I'm just gonna go over here and I am going to downsize it some just so that it fits. And there we go. So I just, what I did is I deleted it and I went back in and I clicked on it again. So it would come back as the smaller size. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make this larger and move it up to the top of the screen because everybody loves balloons floating at the top of the ceiling in your room. And this is it for me. I'm leaving her logo. I'm gonna leave this here. It's dead center. You can see the red line. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the next step and I'm gonna download it. So you click on here and you already have it on PNG. That's what mine's always set to. There's two pages and that's what we want. We're gonna want both of them. So now we're gonna click download. Now let's just say you only wanted one page. You could click on this. Let's say you already downloaded one and then you saw an error and you wanted to make a change. You could just click on this. Now it's only gonna download page one, but we do need both pages. So we're gonna download page two, download them both. And you'll see that they will, oh, I don't wanna do that. They will come down into your screen and here they are. And it's called whatever your text is called. So this one says pop your favorite and they show up here. So now you wanna go ahead and save these. So open them up. Now here's our background screen. So now I'm gonna save it, save as, and you'll get to see how messy my computer files are. But I go into documents, I go into my active folder and then I go down here to lights, camera, selfies. And then because I do these borders, I just save it at the bottom. So I'm gonna call this balloon. You can see my old ones are there. Boss, sample, start, just so I don't mess it up on what the one is we've already gotten approved by the client. Then we're gonna go back here. We're gonna to go to the second picture. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna quickly save it. And you can see it's still there. Kind of having a hard time right now because I'm not liking the way the yellow is on that. Um, but this is just a test or just showing you, so I'm not gonna change it. But um, had, I, had I not, I would have done this. Okay. And I'm gonna call this tap because that's the one we're gonna use to tap the screen when we go to do it. And now it's there. So now we need to go back to our Salsa app, which we go back over here. And this is our setup for our Salsa app. And we wanna press edit and we wanna upload a file. And now it's going to all the screens. Enjoy looking at me a million times. Not sure why that one's coming up. So I'm gonna go back to my file, back to my lights, camera, selfies here. And you can see they're all at the bottom. Now this is the one, the first one we're doing is the tap to start. So you can see that one is right here. We're gonna click on it and hit open. And it will come up on the screen. You can see the circle is moving so you know it's working. If for some reason it's not the right file format or if you've already downloaded it or whatever, if there's an error, that circle will not move. So then you know, uh-oh, it's not working. So once you have it downloaded, you just wanna double click on it and you're gonna see it already goes into this screen. Now we're gonna do almost the exact same thing here once it's ready for us. We're gonna click on edit. You can see these are all my old backgrounds that I use and they always are themed to look similar. We're gonna click on upload file. We're gonna go back and it's already coming up to my lights, camera, selfies file. So now we're gonna go on this background one and you can see the little hands moving and it's there.
So now you can see we have our tap to start screen and we have our background screen. So I'm really hoping that this is helpful for you. This is ready to go. The, these two steps are done. We have completed this. And since this is getting a little bit long, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off here. And I will do another video, another part that you can watch where we'll show you actually how to do the borders and different things. And in my links below, I'm gonna encourage you if you haven't looked into getting a salsa photo booth, so you can check it out and look at it. They have this cool thing on the bottom that shows you how much money you can make from a salsa booth. You put in your own numbers. So you put in what it is market can bear and it will show you. If you need help with Canva, I'll also put a link below for that. I'm excited. I'm very happy to be involved with lots of balloons and lots of photo booths. And so if you need anything or have any questions, reach out to me and I look forward to talking to you. Thanks.